Hi everyone, it's Giselle here with a message regarding um, Karmic Partners and my altered perspective. Um, since I've been helping a client through my spiritual coaching and not my Twin Flame Magic channel, I've gotten to see firsthand how they've experienced going on this twin flame journey from scratch so basically it's given me a perspective that I already kind of had when I looked at my situation and how I felt when I was in a karmic relationship but now that I'm seeing it with all the knowledge that I have currently and from their standpoint it's just such a different perspective and the reason why I'm sharing this with you is because I'm hoping that this will give you a bit more understanding and a bit more compassion for this because there's a lot of resentment and a lot of misunderstandings I feel within the community. I've seen a few videos where the reader has gone so far as to say that the karmic person is possessed by a demon <laughs> or something and I'm thinking wow that's that's extreme um, it, it's kind of fear mongering I don't like that approach and I certainly wouldn't agree excuse me uh, I wouldn't agree with that because it's not at all um, the way that I would have wanted to be perceived when I was in a karmic relationship myself not to say that the person I was with had a chance at being with their divine love yet because I don't feel that there was a divine love for them to be in a physical relationship with at the time. But that's not to say that there couldn't have been, if that makes any sense. And because I was in this karmic relationship for so long, for nearly a decade, I fully understand what my client is going through currently and why we must be understanding instead of being hostile towards people who are still in this dynamic. Because it doesn't serve us to be angry and to be resentful and to be hateful towards these people because at the end of the day, I don't feel that they're doing this on purpose and I don't feel that they even know about our twin flame connection. And so, I mean, I suppose every situation is different and I suppose for some it could well be that they are taunting you on purpose and fair enough, that's not nice. But in a lot of situations, I don't feel that the karmics even know this, you know? They're not aware of our connection with, with the person that they're with. They don't know that the person that they're with is our beloved. And yes, I say that in some, some situations they do. And that's a whole, a whole other story. But I just wanted to bring this to, to light so that people can be more understanding and come from a place of, of calmness and compassion rather than anger. Because whether you're angry with them or not, it's they're not going to be impacted. And also... It's only going to hurt you and not them. So basically, this lady that I've been working with through spiritual coaching had never even heard of the term Twin Flame. And only this summer came across, she was, um, I think she was doing some sort of card reading for herself. And a card popped up saying, Twin Flames, you're... Romantic life is going to be um, encountering a twin flame connection, and she she never kind of take, she never even bothered to really look at it after that because she thought, well, this is a very odd. I've never heard of this. What what is this? And because she's already with someone, and has family with them, and has been with them for so long, she kind of brushed it off and was like, yeah, whatever. But then, as I started working with her, and I never even mentioned the term twin flame to her because. I don't want to push my twin flame magic 
onto people of my spiritual channel and vice versa i feel that if they want to come on this journey well if they're chosen i mean they don't they don't want i mean they you know of course you're chosen for this then they will bring it up and i don't have to push that idea onto them because i don't want to not corrupt them <laughs> but just for them to have a preconceived idea that wasn't meant to come to the forefront of their minds just yet i hope i'm making sense so anyway i never told her about the twin flame thing but i do remember having a session with her and she was really upset and asking me is my husband going to be the person that i'm going to spend the rest of my life with and i had to be truthful and i said based off of what i'm being shown i have to say there is a greater love awaiting you but it is up to you whether you take that or not and so she kind of took it with a heavy heart and said okay well fair i respect you for being honest with me thank you for that information but i don't feel that she really looked at it much further until about maybe a couple of months later she then came back to me and said Giselle what is twin flame and do I have a twin flame and I was a bit taken aback I thought whoa well I never even talked to you about twin flames how did you come to that conclusion and she said well I was meditating and I felt a presence that wasn't like a guide or angel it felt so different there was a lot of chemistry and a lot of love and electricity and passion coming from this this new spirit around me and so it turns out that she rather than actually most people including myself meet their twins on the physical first so that it then catapults you into you know doing a lot of the work and physically acknowledging oh i have someone but with her it, it happened the other way around where the spirit let themselves be known first because i feel this person had ascended so so much in her on a spiritual journey and has grown so much accelerated growth over the past few months that she was ready to feel her twin on a on a spiritual level rather than physical first whereas with me i needed to have them physically first but anyway um so she asked me about this and then we delved more and more into it and the first few weeks were really exciting and they were being very passionate and very loving and it was giving her hope and she was so happy that finally after so many years of thinking that she wasn't fully properly loved by her husband that now she could have this amazing romance with her twin flame and that she could feel that he was going to be everything she'd ever wanted and everything she'd ever hoped for and dreamed of and it was wonderful for the first few weeks which is kind of comparable to our bubble phase when we met our beloveds you know we had this beautiful phase of just being in love and that's what she had on the spiritual with with her twin until a few weeks later then she came back to me and she said Giselle my twin has been very abrupt he's mocking my husband and he's pushing me to see things that I don't really want to see just yet why is this and so I looked at her twin and I, I asked him what is it that you want her to know and why are you being so forthcoming and so pushy and he was shuffling a tarot deck um, this is all spiritually and I'm seeing this clairvoyantly and so he pulls out a few cards and he pulled out the devil card and I well I had to be honest and tell her this is what he's done he's given me the devil card and so she was really shocked and really angry because she said oh I know what that is you know he views my husband as the devil and so he's showing that to you to reiterate the message you have for me is is that my husband is a devil is that what you're saying and so I said to her well yeah that must be be what he's trying to show I mean I'm clearly seeing that image and so she got rather upset and she's now in a phase where she's trying to not disconnect from him but kind of kind of step back a little bit and now I can understand why our twins have may may have behaved 
the way that she is because she's not ready to let go of her karmic even though she knows that there's a greater love out there for her you have to give people the time to adjust and to process this phenomenon and this new knowledge because it is a great big massive change and and so much needs to be changed within your belief system you can't just go oh i'm a twin flame great and accept this within a matter of weeks i mean i've been on this journey for pretty much a decade you know, I've been researching this stuff for so long, I've been trying to accept it for so long. The majority of that time I was in a karmic relationship and I wasn't ready to get out just yet. So I can understand why she is doing this and she's actually giving me the Divine Masculine perspective of what happens when the Feminine, which is so funny because I see her beloved as the Masculine because he's so so strong and so so tall and so broad and you know he does look very divine masculine but just their dynamic i feel is switched at the moment so she is the runner well i don't really like that term runner chaser but you know what i mean it, she's the person who isn't quite as enlightened and has to catch up on this idea and really take her time trying to process it and trying to let go even though she already kind of knew in her heart that she was in a karmic relationship and that her karmic is no good for her she still has to take the time to process everything and to accept that she will eventually need to separate from him she's willing to do that and she knows that in her heart but it's not practical right now and she needs more time to process everything and because her twin is so forceful and so so direct with what he's wanting to show her it scared her off and i've seen her journey at such it, it's the divine masculine journey but at a very accelerated pace and it's opened up my eyes and given me more compassion for my beloved because the underlying wanting to be with us is there you know we can offer them this great love, this newfound freedom. And the wanting to be with us is there, but we just can't push them when they need to tie up some loose ends, when they need to adjust to the new ideas. And all we can do in the meantime is show compassion and work on ourselves to be more compassionate, to be more open, to be more loving and understanding. Because you wouldn't want them when they're not ready. I mean... Imagine if this person wasn't ready to separate from her karmic and she immediately moved in with her twin. She'd be a wreck. She'd be crying every day. She'd be in... She would be devastated and he wouldn't benefit from being with her at that time because she would resent him. And this is why I can now see more clearly that we need to give them the time we can't resent them for needing that time we can only be understanding and loving and compassionate and had this happened to me when i was with my karmic i was stubborn i was just not willing to move away from it even though i knew that i had to eventually but it's taken years for me to fully come to terms with what that dynamic meant and also to open me up enough to accept my beloved for who he is because all of my preconceived beliefs had to be broken down just like it had to with this lady i feel this person is from you know her twin she feels it's from a different religion it's a different race to her not that that should ever matter but it's just so different from what she currently knows that she needs time to adjust and so i need time to adjust well no, no I, I don't now but i needed time to adjust to accepting my beloved because had i met him when i was still with my karmic i would have never given him the time of day a he was much younger than well not much but a few years younger than me and i would have just gone well what am i doing leaving my um 
well, my tablet's just switched off, sorry. Leaving my person that I've known for so long for someone who is so much younger, doesn't have their life together, and what am I supposed to do with that, you know? But really, I needed that time to process and to open my heart and to not be judgmental so that when he did come to me, I wouldn't be in that place of not wanting to accept him. So that is why... I'm not going to find my picture again. Um, that is why I've um, had to have that time to process everything. And I hope that this story has resonated with a few of you and helped you to understand the journey from a different perspective and to help you be more open and be more compassionate towards your beloved. And I'm not saying that it's going to take them years or decades either. You know, just because it took me that long does not mean that they can't be accelerated because I feel, especially with my beloved, that he's such a fast learner. I don't feel it's going to take him that long, to be honest. Because the energy that's currently present is so full of electricity that I feel things can move along and just change in an instant, in the blink of an eye. I really believe that. But I just wanted to give this message so that people can be more compassionate and can come up from a place of unconditional love and true understanding rather than I mean, I don't understand some that channel that I came across that condemned the karmic partners as being possessed, having demonic possessions. I mean, good Lord, you know, someone said that about me back in the day when I was with my karmic. I would have just, I would have been mortified. I mean, no, I'm not possessed. I'm just, I'm just scared and unwilling to move on just because the fear was too much and I didn't know any better and I didn't know there was better for me out there but certainly don't condemn them to, to that they don't know any better we just have to be forgiving and working on ourselves in the meantime and remembering that we have something that they will never have which is that spiritual connection that eternal bond with our beloveds that could never be broken. They may have them for a temporary, temporary period, but they will never have what we have, which is the eternal flame of love. And whilst we may resent them for being with our beloveds, we should also be a little bit grateful. <laughs> and I know that may sound weird, but they are activating things within our, within our beloveds and they are showing them things that they really need to learn. And just as this lady would be no good with her twin right now because she would be an absolute mess, we have to accept that the reason why we are not with our beloveds just yet is because they don't want to ruin this connection with us and give us the worst of them. You know, the karmics are getting the parts of them that need polishing. So try to understand it from that standpoint and you will be so much more it'd be so much easier for you to basically go through the rest of just of this journey and also expect miracles because things can change in the blink of an eye and they could just turn up at your door tomorrow for all you know so be open to that and leave it up to the universe to give you everything that you need and trust that I hope that this has helped you and thank you so much for listening. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.